Hello, my name is Nitesh Sahu and I am going to demonstrate the demo of integration with HubSpot. So this is was my assignment which I have completed. Let me show you how it works. I will open this in VS Code and run my front end and back end servers for front end server i will go into the front end directory and run npm run start to start the back end i will go into the back end directory and run command ubicon main app and hyphen hyphen reload so the server has been started so before moving forward let me tell you that uh, we have to create a hubspot account so i have already created hubspot account let me log in hubspot login here I have entered my email address and sign in with Google. So this is here I have created two companies. One is a dev account and second is a normal account. So in dev account I will get the authentication related part when I go in my app so here in auth I will get the client ID client secret here I have specified my redirect URL and scopes I have here CRM objects companies read so I am going to read the companies And second account is normal account in which I have created companies so here is a list of three companies which I have created we will get these data in our app so I have completed two parts of this application as mentioned in the PDF so first part is the HubSpot auth integration and second part is loading HubSpot items. So in my code I need to update the HubSpot.py file in backend and in frontend also i need to update the hubspot.js file both i have completed so here is a brief introduction about the code here i also have radish running in my background this is the client id secret id which i got from the hubspot account and the authorization URL also I got from the HubSpot account. This is the sample installed URL. So this is the authentication URL in our authorized app. We are creating auth URL with state. and in our auth to callback hubspot function we are calling an api provided by hubspot which takes current type code redirect url client id client secret as a parameters
and returns the credentials credentials are basically uh, tokens access token and refresh token so we save this information in our redis database in github credential function we get the credentials and delete it from our radish database and create integration item metadata metadata objects we create an object with the with these fields this may have this much uh, fields so this is a schema of our item we can have id type directory name domain name so the domain name is added by me especially for the hub spot so this is the item we will get finally this is the function to fetch items in which we call an api which is this api objects slash companies so with this api we get the companies data in our front end what i have added is almost similar with air table here i am calling the hub spot authorize backend api and here i am calling the credentials api in our data form i have made a small change in line number 36 to show the data on the our application page so let me go to the application here i will let you know how this works our hot i will choose integration type hub spot and connect to hub spot now the authorization page will open let me open this in my incognito mode so i can show you the login part here i need to sign in here i need to enter the email address and next and sign in with google this is the accounts.google.com url so basically we are logging the google account So now we have successfully logged in into the app dot hubspot dot com URL. So here we need to choose our company, which data we want to fetch. So I want to fetch the company name com company data. So company name is basically a name of the company. Here I click on choose account. and we can see that hub spot connected now authorization part has been completed 
now when i click on load data it will get the hubspot company's details so here id is equal to hubspot company we are getting and domain we are getting hubspot.com as i mentioned in my company here we can verify this data So here I will go into my company name too and we can see the domain name is company domain and two as we can see in our data which we have got from our integration this is the domain this is the company name so this is how we got the data from the hub spot and we have successfully integrated the hub spot here we can clear the data also we can load that same data so this is the complete complete integration part thank you